It's time to see a familiar world in a brand new light. Disney's Aladdin, the live action remake, um, finally is home on DVD. What's going on, everyone? Joe from Action X here. Um, talking about today, well, unboxing to an extent. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. Um, Aladdin 2019, or I.e. Aladdin, the live action remake. That the, um, which was, I, I'm, here's the thing about me. My English is horrible. I don't know why. Like, I can't even make a grammar statement up. Um, yeah, I'm already doing it again. Um, anyway, so Aladdin was a, this movie was a remake of the original animated movie back from the 90s. And so, we're still in that, now if you don't understand, we're currently in that, cycle of like Disney is just pushing more and more live action remakes of their animated classics because well, you can guess money and um, honestly well, we'll get to we'll get to my review for a second since I did not make a standalone review for Aladdin because um, reasons but I'll get to that in a minute so anyway here is Aladdin um, this reuses the theatrical poster except in a more condensed DVD box um, format. My only one complaint with this poster is that, it, well, with this cover, is that it, it only specifically puts Will Smith's name. I don't get it. Like, I, Will Smith, I understand, is the biggest star in the movie. I understand Mena Masu and Naomi Scott, they're pretty, well, no offense to Mena, I have not heard of him before this movie came out. And Naomi Scott, I, I knew her from Lemonade Mouth and Power Rangers, that's all I knew her for. So I understand why, you know, they're not the big stars of this movie. I totally get that. Will Smith has been an established actor for now more than two decades. So I understand why he, his name is front and center. I just don't understand why. I mean, Will Smith is a, um, his genie character is of vital importance to this movie, but he's not the main character of this movie. Hell, I think everyone would assume, like, usually when the, the, t the titular, like, if it's, a, if it's a movie with the titular's character's name as the title of the movie, you usually have the the actor's name on top so people know who he's playing. But, like, if any, like, kid who doesn't know better, like, oh, so this guy is the Swell Smith I've been hearing about for years? Like, no. Um, that's my only complaint so far. Um, side profile, as usual... The back, which reuses, I believe this was the IMAX poster. Um, I don't know why, I just love this artistic shot. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can enjoy because I don't feel like, you know, um, bringing it over right now. So, that's just beautiful. I, I don't think my camera is picking it up and doing it justice, but it it's, it's a pretty cool shot. Like, it's, they framed it and photographed it so well where it's like, it looks like a live action animated um, still with, um, Blue, blue Will Smith. Anyway, um, enough of the, about that joke. Um, now, did I accidentally not double check the code here? Because this is a Disney movie. Uh, yeah, I understand. Like, I know, like, for... Yeah, uh, yeah well, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, the, the usual codes that you get for Disney's. Um, the standard gray disc with the logo. And um, let's just talk about this. Let, let's get down into it. Because, like, um, so I didn't get to do a proper Aladdin review when it came out. Because, um, simply put, um, if you remember my last week's Men in Black International video, um, this the, um, this just came the, after Endgame, after that, it just came out in a weird time where I just didn't get to see movies on time anymore. Um, just life was in the way. I didn't get to find the right people to go see this with. And I didn't want to see it alone. And spoilers, I did have to see Aladdin alone, um, and there was just a lot of movies that I haven't been able to see. I still haven't seen Child's Play, I still haven't seen Dark Phoenix just yet, I will be seeing them pretty soon, um, but it, when it comes to Aladdin, I did not get to see it at, well, at um, release. I did get to see it, I, I believe it was the end of June, I got to finally see this movie, I don't remember. Uh, I really don't remember the timetable when I got, went to see this movie, but um, yeah. Anyway, so my expectations for this was that um, my expectations for this movie, um, was again, um, it's a twofold thing, number one, I want, this was my first, this was, I believe, the first Disney remake I was gonna go see, I skipped out on Beauty and the Beast, I skipped out of Cinderella, Cinderella, um, I skipped out on, what was another one, what was the one from last year, um, no, I skipped out on The Jungle Book, and I, I so far skipped out on, on Lion King, so this has been the only one I was curious on seeing, and I originally had no intention of seeing this movie at all, despite how much I love the original animated movie, I just could not, like, I couldn't, like, I don't know why, before the, the, the trailer with the songs came out, I just didn't have any sort of, like, real drive to go see this movie, and then I saw the second trailer, I'm like, okay, if this, if the adaptation sucks, 
at least the classic songs will get the justice that they deserve. And I went to go see this movie, and honestly, honestly, I think it can. It, there are multiple points I can see that it stands on the same level as the animated movie, as a classic one. Now, of course, you're going to say, blasphemy, what's wrong with you? The anime is clearly the better one. Now, I'm just saying, at the end of the day, I feel like I would probably enjoy the animated better. I feel like if I had to pick either one of the two movies, um, Aladdin, the anime one would just beat it out by a hair. But I say beat it by a hair for a reason. Um, they... Now, the, the thing about when Aladdin came out in the 90s is that there is... Obviously, there's a lot of stereotypes that we had back in the 90s where it like had this live action remake came out in the 90s, it would it would have been it wouldn't have worked. But this came out like so a lot of the characters changed like they gave most of them more story. I feel like Jafar at the end of the day was the only one who didn't get like I feel like like Jafar was a major downgrade from the animated version, but then again, the the voice and the the look of it was so freaking good. I don't think it was going to be impossible to adaptate it to a um, the live action screen, and they didn't. Um, I feel I felt like Jafar and Iago they did their job. I feel like they served their purpose, but I didn't feel like they were a proper great translation um, to the anime to the um, to the live action screen. Um, but I did enjoy everything else. I I, I freaking love Mina Masu's um, interpretation of Aladdin. He gave him more character. Uh, obviously, people were complaining like, why doesn't he have the purple vest? Why isn't he like shirtless? Like, I mean. The shirtless thing, I mean, this is a Disney, now, this is now 2019 Disney, there was absolutely no way we were going to see a shirtless Aladdin, or well, mostly shirtless Aladdin for an entire movie, I don't think that was possible. Now again, you're going to say, well, Jungle Book did that, but I think there's a difference between a kid and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a male lead, or maybe I'm wrong, I don't really know. Um... I feel like Jasmine, they did so much more for her character. They gave her more, st more backstory, more, 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 um, more meat to chew on on this story into adaptation. Where it's like the animated one, um, she, she, it, it, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it properly. I am not a re a professional reviewer by any means. I'm just trying to explain like they they fleshed out every character more. I feel like they gave Ch Genie, um, and speaking of Genie as a real life, um. At the end of the day, I still prefer Robin Williams uh, in interpretation of the genie. But the one great thing I will give Will Smith is that he did his own take on the character. He did not copy um, Robin Williams' genie. He did it. There was a lot of things that would have only worked had Robin Williams played this character. And it translated well into this point where it's like, this is Will Smith as the genie. You had a lot of Will Smith references, not... Um, Robin Williams references, so that worked out so well. Um, and then honestly, like some of the like, obviously there were some cringy moments. Obviously, you know, it, it wasn't like going to be a hundred percent of a great tra translation, but they did so so great. I loved most. No, I loved all the songs, all this, all the original songs, all the new songs. They did such a great job with those. Um, I felt like the visual effects. They. A couple of scenes were a little bit like, mm, could have done some more time with this. And then some, most of them were like pretty great. And um, this definitely did satisfy me at the end of the day. I really did walk out with a smile, a smile on my face. It really it really was good. Um, now, of course, the question is, which is better? I feel like the animator right now has the classic feel, the nostalgia feel right now working for it. So that's why I would say the animated film is much more better right now. But I'm only saying that just by a hair. If I'm being honest. Um, but honestly, the 2019 ver uh, interpretation did such a really great job. I really did enjoy it. And um, and I did. I mean, and it made a billion dollars, which I'm freaking surprised. I'm so excited the Aladdin franchise might, ha might continue. There's, there are talks to make it Aladdin too, which, like, oh, well, oh, no, now they're going to make more. They're going to capitalize it. It's going to bomb. I'm like, well, Aladdin 2, Return of Jafar. That's always the thing. Uh, then again, they, they, they said they're going to do their own um, their own sequel idea, supposedly. So, But I assume it's going to be a Return of J Jafar inspired film. So we'll see how that works out. But anyway, guys, that was um, overall Aladdin. Really good film. Really good. Um, and yeah, that was it. So you can go pick up Aladdin right now at Target of Best Buy for about 20 bucks. Uh, I spent 20 bucks on mine. Trying to double check my, my, my memory. I did. Um... 
And if you want to compare them, um, the animated one, I don't know if it's available um, locally in your re your re your um, local retailers. I your I mean your usual retailers. I don't know because I feel like I, I think this got a, I think the they got they all got 4K re-releases when this one came out. I believe so. But if you can still find them, go buy if you want to like see for yourself if you prefer the animated version over the live action version, go ahead. Uh, I feel like at the end of the day, they both tell the same story, but they both have they all have their own unique charms that make them each of them a worth uh, a worth of a of a watch. If that's uh, if that makes any sense to you guys, uh, if you aren't aware, you are watching a DVD unboxing. Please like it if you want to. Please do whatever you want with this video. Um, just not anything sexually explicit. And please subscribe if you want. Ring the bell. Ring a ding a ding a ding. And I'll see you guys. Soon. Peace out.